And right here, through the red door, with the horseshoe, this is gonna be Fight Club. <laughs> Hello YouTube, my name is Ryan, Pop-Tart Enthusiast and streamer on Twitch. Before I started streaming on Twitch, I was a professional improviser and actor for about eight years. And so when the pandemic hit, I wanted to find an outlet for all those creative juices. So I've been building a community on Twitch since theater is closed and most of the stuff I talk about is about how to be a better performer and I also play games. But recently, I wanted to get into role playing. Not like the, it's like where you play a game and you play a character at the same time. It all like goes together like that. It's not like a weird thing. And if you know, even if, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna get into the weeds on that, but Felicia Day recently posted on Twitter that uh, there was room in the Nerd Gumbo server, which is a group of content creators who are focused on role play in the game Rust. So I decided I was gonna shoot my shot. That's what people, People are saying, people are saying you should do that. So I did that. So the next day I woke up and I had a DM from Felicia Day inviting me to the Rust server. So what you're gonna see today is the first video in my new series of Rust roleplay inside of Nerd Gumbo. My character's name is Feeny. He's of some sort of English or British descent and he's trying to open a store and live his life in Rust. Now the main point of this server is for roleplay and fun so it's not all about gloom and doom. PvP is optional and you have to get consent from people. So if you're looking for that sweet, sweet Rust gunplay, it's not in. This is all about having a good time, playing a character, making y'all laugh. So I hope that you enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you want to see this happen live, because I do this during my Twitch streams, the link is in the description, twitch.tv slash peruzard underscore. So until next time, just remember, nothing matters till you make it matter. So go make it matter. This is me, little workshop here. A repair place, a research station, a workbench, a furnace for furnacing things. In here, this is where my horse used to be, and I've kind of turned it into a nice little patio area for myself and friends. And then finally, I have uh, my car in here, with this door for m my body to go out of, and this door for my car to go out of. So here's the shop, axes and asses. So in here, uh, we have this netting that kind of divides the back room so I can still see out into the galley. Yep, yeah, I guess galley's not the right word. That's what you use to kill people. Here I have some storage boxes. Got this guitar. I'm not quite sure how it works right now, <laughs> but eventually maybe we'll figure it out. So let's go through the store. So this is where I uh, will stay. Man the place if people are here. We have bay one, which is marked with green because it's the easiest one. And then we got bay two marked with orange because it's the second hardest or the second e wait. The second hardest or the second easiest. It's the same. And then over here. We got Bay 3, which is red, marking, delineating that it's the hardest one, right? Because it's the furthest throw. It makes sense. I think a consumer would understand color coding. It's like a stop sign, right? Where it's like, hey, you're good to go. Anyone can drive through. This one's like, hey, whoa down. Caution. Might want to make sure you're ready for it. And the red one's like, and if you want to get a speeding ticket, if you're a rebel, little bit go in here then in the vending machine here we got these keys if you buy a key it gives you access to the door uh forever i'm just gonna leave them unlocked there's also uh hatchets and a stone <laughs> i kind of slipped into brooklyn there a second why did that happen and then there's this here an item check you can drop your items in here anything you want to have off your person so you have a car an entire car you put it in there you can pick it up when you leave i only got one box at the moment <laughs> then this is the exit it says it there this is the sign painted it myself only took me a couple hours then out here we got a barbecue grill because who doesn't like a good old barbecue when you're throwing at it at walls and then the last thing i'll show you all this is the special thing this is for the adventurous souls. And it's also a nice way for me to be able to climb up here. Right, so if I climb up here, I can go to my house, right there, or I can go left, here, and right here, through the red door, 
with the horseshoe. This is gonna be Fight Club. So there'll be a second story here, but on this second story, if people say, hey, I want us know something more adventurous to do, I can send them up this rope ladder and they can challenge somebody in the Fight Club. And it'll happen here. I don't believe you can punch in this game. If you can punch, then we'll punch. But I don't believe that you can. So that's X's and S's. So that's the store. And that's Feeny's new voice. Also, the employee of the month is Feeny currently. <laughs> that was a little joke I put in there. But the store is, I mean, it's officially open. This is my note for marketing my new store. X's and S's is now open. Straight to the point. Come throw axes at targets, okay? Again, straight and to the point. Want more adventure? Ask Feeney about the extra space. He'll help you out. I think it hits the nail on the head. That's, I think that's a perfect piece of, of uh, copy that I wrote right there. I think. We got axes and asses up. I got some marketing materials. I'm about to head out into the world. Anybody I see? Oh, why? Well, howdy. How's it going? Oh, not too bad. Just got in town yesterday. Oh, really? And what's your name? Yeah, the strangest thing. I just woke up in the middle of nowhere naked and found right. myself in a place that I don't remember. It's, it's what happened to me, too. I was just sitting around, and then one one moment I was just awake, and now I guess i got to start my life out here in, in this new land. Well, if if you'd like, I've uh, opened a business over uh, in the town just down the road. There's a note there on the ground. That kind of explains the business. And if you're ever in the area and want to stop by, I'd be happy to, to help you out. Might have a customer chat. How delightful. Maybe I'll stop by there sometime. All right. Well, safe travels. The name of my store is X's and Asses. X's and Asses? It's like a one-stop shop. Right. It's got X's. And then the Asses part is just because it was funny. We don't have asses. <laughs> and donkeys don't exist. Yeah, so it was just because it was funny. So it d would you think if you came in there and there weren't no asses, would you think that's false advertisement? No, not necessarily, because it's, you're not necessarily saying you're selling asses, just that there's asses there. Right, right. Well, I, I appreciate the feedback and also to just kind of double down on the asses. It's nice to, to be okay with, with that choice I made. I'll be sure to bring it, at least an ass, if not an ass. Perfect. Well, I look forward to seeing you out there. Have a good rest of your day. All right. I don't think he took the note. I'm going to pick it back up. There's only so many notes. 